Hi everyone, Jennifer here from My Purpley Life and I have another video for you all on how to decorate your Filofax or your ring bound planner. This is my personal size Filofax Finsbury in the color purple. Not to be confused with the latest um, model that came out which is the electric blue. This is my pages for um, the previous week. It's I haven't yet finished it but so far this is um, how it looks like again I like decorating my pages in my planner because it just gives me something different to look at each time this is how it's looked like for the past month now I was using the um, back to school theme so I do have one more week where I'm going to do a back to school theme so before we go ahead and get started um, I'm going to remove my pages out from my binder And the pages that I am using again are by Filofaxi. And I, most of the time, I post all the links to the items that I'm using down below in the description box. I will also link them on my blog um, at the end of the month. So, for the last week of August, I am back to school this week. So, um, I am decorating this in a pink theme because my daughter, she loves pink and she will be going back to school. She's gonna be starting third grade. Oh my gosh, how exciting, third grade. I, ca I can't believe it. But um, the washi tapes I'm using are, um, did I, I think I got these from Daiso. Again, if you don't know what Daiso is, Daiso is a discount store, um, an Asian discount store, which they sell everything for $1.50. So, um, these tapes came out a while ago. I, don't, I haven't seen them available for a while now, but sometimes every now and then they come up with new stuff. And um, sometimes, you know what? I don't think this is from Daiso. I think this is from Dollar Tree, actually. So if you don't know, Dollar Tree is a US store which you can buy discount stuff and everything for a dollar, which is why it's called Dollar Tree. But, anyways, yeah, I might have gotten them from there. Um, they do have this type of plasticky uh, feel to it, not exactly your typical washi or masking paper tape um, with that uh, like tissue paper like consistency. This is more of a thicker tape. So I thought these banners would be really cute. I think of the banners for school, like welcome back to school and then these cute pink owls. I don't know, I just think of owls and then I think about the owl sitting on the rooftop or something like that I don't know or in a tree when you're in the playground or I don't know anyways so I'm gonna be doing that I'm also beginning it I'm also going to tie it in with some pink polka dots because there is some pink polka dots in this washi tape I'm not sure if it's gonna pick up there really faint but I can see it I don't know if you guys can see it and then there's some green for the leaves in this washi tape so I'm going to tie it in with this green striped washi tape and then I might embellish it with some other um, tapes and things there not sure yet now the tools that I need I need a cutting mat underneath my pages and then I need my um, cutting tool you can use a zacto knife or you can just use scissors if you don't have this available um, trying to think of what stamp I'm going to use. I think since I'm using a polka dot washi tape, I'm going to use this Listit stamp set, um, the Listit Kawaii set from Studio L2E. Again, she has some beautiful clear stamps that she has designed, and I'm going to use this um, sort of like dotted line look here. And what's great about using these pages again is that you can just, there's no limit. You can create whatever you want, whatever theme that you want for your pages. And you're not stuck looking at the same thing for like a month. Like it's only blue for that month or it's sometimes you may feel like you want purple that day. I don't know. So um, using the Filofax um, personal organizers or a Kiki K or a Kate Spade. These are all ring bound planners. You can really create 
whatever that you want. So if you love being creative, then this is for you. Okay, so I'm gonna be using that. And then I'm gonna be using um, this circle for my checklist because I love using a lot of lists in my daily planning. I don't do so much um, appointments and events and things like that. I do, I do write them down, but I have more tasks and to do's than I do appointments and events. So that's why this system also works for me. Um, that's another thing to consider when you're looking for a planner. Okay, so let's hurry up and get started. I'm gonna put these banners first. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to create a banner look right here. Let me zoom in for you guys. Okay. And I'm actually going to sort of like die cut what's already there. And sort of just following the pattern of the washi tape. So this is another fun way that you can use your washi tape is if there's like this pattern on it, you can die cut it yourself. This does take a little bit more time. So if you're in a rush and you just want to put something on your page, this might not be the theme for you, but if you have lots of washi tape and you don't know what to do with it, sometimes um, this is a really cool thing that you can do. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just keep cutting until like I have a good size there. I think about until this green one. So I'm just gonna chop that one off already. Another thing you can do to make this process a little bit faster is since I have my cutting mat right here, I can just simply lay this onto my cutting mat and then take my Zacto knife and then do it this way as well. So now I have my die cut here. I'm just going to lay this onto my page. So it looks like that. I'm just going to trim off that little bit that's sticking out there. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So now I'm going to put the owls down here on the bottom of the page. And I'm not going to do anything fancy with this. I'm just going to lay this onto the page. I'm going to turn this upside down because the pattern of the owls, I don't wanna make it harder for myself and put the tape like this. So I'm gonna flip the page over and make it easier for myself to lay this on there. And the same thing, I'm gonna flip this page over.
Now I want to put on some additional washi tape. I'm going to take this pink polka dot and I'm actually going to cut this in half. I don't want to um, put this, even though this is a um, thin piece of tape already, as you can see compared to this tape here, I still want to cut it a little bit thinner. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my paper trimmer and cut this tape in half laying it down directly onto my cutter. So I'm going to measure out about that much. Again, finding the middle of that paper trimmer by simply just pressing down on it and finding that groove. So it's about right there. And that looks pretty even to me. And then you have instant thin washi tape right here. Now what happens here is you can see a little bit of that washi tape is blocking that hole. You may or may not have to um, re-hole re punch it. You can put it just a tiny bit lower if you like. It doesn't have to be directly onto this line. It can be a little bit under it because you still have some space. It's not blocking my day there. I'm going to take the other strip, put it on the other side. you look really closely, as you can see, it's not directly on the line. I'm going to cut up a little more and put it down here on the bottom. And then I have my green washi tape. Again, this is already a thick tape, or a thin tape, I should say, compared to that. And then compared to this, maybe about the same size, a little bit thinner. But I still want to trim it. Now what's great about you know these stripes and polka dots is that if they're tiny enough, you can do this and it'll still look proportional. Sometimes you have polka dot washi tape, but the dots are too big and it won't look right. And same thing for the stripes. So, really nice. Again, I like just cutting these washi tapes in half because it just gives you more space to write. Okay, so now that's done, I'm going to go ahead and just trim off all the little edges there. So now let's go ahead and get stamping. I'm going to put my mouse pad underneath. I like using a mouse pad because it just gives me um, a little bit more pressure when I'm stamping. So first I want to stamp my lines. Again, I'm going to take that clear stamp right here. Now I know some of you are not familiar with stamping, but this is the stamp. See, it looks like jelly. Um, you need something firm for when you're stamping. Now there's a couple of options. You can use a stamping block, which I've um, shown when I, I'm going to show this when I stamp my other check boxes. But what I love to use is my Fisker stamp press. And I'm just aligning the lines up here. So I get some really straight lines. I 
Okay. I'm just gonna press this off to the side here so that way it's evenly pressed onto this material. But as you can see, it's a, it's still, it's a clear material compared to, or a thinner material compared to your stamp block. But again, you just need something hard and firm for that clear stamp to stay onto. So I'm going to choose a really light pink here. And sometimes I'm not sure what color that's going to look. So I do have a book that I use for when I'm doing some color matching. So I'll take my page here. I'll take my book of stamps. And that's why this is really handy to do this. And I'm gonna take, for example, I have all my Versa Magic Chalk inks here. I can take my page and look at what ink I think would go best with it. I was going to use Pixie Dust, but it's a really pale pink. It's green. I can check if I wanna use green. I might use green. So this green that I'm going to be using is from the American Crafts um, pastel set and I got this one from Hobby Lobby but it's cute because they come in little cubes like this and you just take them out. But I'm going to stamp that bright green on there. See how that green look goes really well. Oh, that looks good. And I'm just going to continue stamping throughout both sides of the page. take these circles that are from here this is from um, the listed stamp set but see how small that is I can put it on here if I wanted to but it's really um, not necessary so I can use something a little bit smaller and I like to use my clear block for this because it gives me a little bit more control so I'm just gonna put that onto my desk here on the side and then just push on that and then the pink I'm going to use is the Prima Chalk ink in Blossom Tree.
do is place um, a couple of little flags here. I'm going to refer to my uh, monthly calendar, again, which I keep in my A5 size planner. And I flip and I see um, what the week is, what's going on, and I know I have some events coming up. So I'm gonna take this really cute um, tape. It is by Pine Book. They're also known for their um, Nami Nami tapes that have die cuts in them. They look like this. Some of you may be familiar with their tapes. But they have this one here, which is a little bit thicker. But basically, you can write it. You can write on it just like washi tape. But they're, I think they're made out of a different consistency than washi tape. That's sort of like a sticker. And they're already um, cut, so you can just like cut it, cut it off like that. But look how cute that is. I'm gonna use this one. I'm gonna put this one over here now you can see it's pretty long you can probably cover this up here if you wanted to I'm actually going to trim this look how cute that is just that little detail right there again there's the little it's like a house or it reminds me of like the schoolhouse with the bird on top and then I'm going to need another one here they kind of need to cut it right there and you can use these little bits for decorating too just so you don't waste anything because it has like little clouds on there if I want, I could like put this up here or something. And I could put this one like over here. Now, just so you don't waste anything, you could use them for something. I don't know. Like write a little note or something on there. But that's, I think, pretty much it as far as. Um, what my decorating is going to be. I'm just going to write a little quote. Some of you have been mentioning how you've been um, loving watching me write. So for your enjoyment, I will um, just write my little quote up here. reads surround yourself with the dreamers and the doers the believers and the thinkers but most of all surround yourself with those who see the greatness within you even when you don't see it yourself and it is by 
Mr. Edmund Lee. So how, I hope you guys have enjoyed this little tutorial. Please give me a thumbs up if you do and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to stay up to date with my latest videos. Thanks again for watching and I will see you guys all next time. Bye!